Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a disintegrating text effect in Premiere Pro. So basically it's gonna look something like this. Let me just play this. You can see it kind of like pixelizes in and pixelizes, if that's a word, out. And that's basically the effect right here. And it's actually a pretty simple effect, but I think I had like the sort of dramatic footage behind it because I feel like that's kind of where it would fit in best is like in a um, sort of a horror piece or anything that's more dramatic where you want something a little bit more interesting uh, to have something fade in like this instead of just, you know, up here. Could be good for a title or anything really along those lines. So let's get into the effect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete, uh, we'll just delete the wave disappear out of here and then we will begin. So what I did first is we're just gonna go to the new text tool, which makes this actually really easy because you don't have to make titles or anything. We're gonna drag ourselves a new sort of text box here and then we're just gonna type something in. So um, we'll just go with really creepy this time. So we'll go with this and then let's center it like so. And then let's adjust the box so that it is fitting it correctly like so. And then so now we have our text and you'll see that it has created ourselves a layer right here. And if we ever wanna get back to its effects and stuff, all we gotta do is click on the layer and we can adjust the stuff over here like a different um, stroke. Uh, you can center it, make it larger, anything that you want, create the text you want, and then let's move to the next part. So once you've created the text that you want, you're gonna to wanna to add an effect on here called Wave Warp. And it's going to be under Video Effects, Distort, and then Wave Warp. We're gonna click that and we're gonna drag it on right here. Now. What we're gonna do is we want to make this sort of this text creepy. So this is the layer itself, the text layer. We don't wanna actually mess with the layer itself. What we wanna do is we want to touch the opacity right here and then our wave warp. So we're just gonna make that one go invisible like that. We're gonna collapse it so that we can see both of these at the same time. And what we wanna do is we want to start it off normally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add like a one here and a one here. So it should look perfectly normal from here. We're then going to start its animation. So we're gonna hit the little animation keyframes to the left. Then we're going to move it over however long you want. I'm gonna say about 10 frames is probably good. Then what we wanna do is we wanna really bring that wave height up and then we wanna scatter the wave direction as well. And then you wanna change the wave type here to either noise or smooth noise. Different ones sort of work better uh, for different scenes. Smooth is gonna make everything just a little bit smoother. You see that it kind of rounds off those really sharp edges. However, we can go with noise. I'll go with noise for this part. Uh, the other one had smooth noise, but I'll do noise for this part of the tutorial. Um, so you can also change things like direction. So if you want it to like come in at a different direction, you see that it's kind of moving the height into, so 90 degrees is straight up. If you want to move it to 180, then the height will actually go this way. And then you have stuff like wave speed and stuff. So you can just mess around with this and really get the look that you want. Next, we are going to go up here to opacity. So we're going to go back to the beginning of it. We're going to go up here and we're going to make it zero. And then we're going to go to where the animation should be completed, which is right here. And we're going to make this go back up to 100. And now what this is gonna do is it's going to really smooth it out. So you'll see, oops. And you see I made a little bit of an error right there. These should be reversed. So what we can just do is we can take these bad boys, move them over. And that's what's kind of cool about this up here is you can do this. Um, and then move these back into position and you'll see they lock on and now we should get the effect. What I had it doing was um, starting normal and then going into sort of destruction mode. I needed to do the inverse. So now we have it coming into play like so, and then what we can do is we just need to create the back end of this effect to make it really disappear again. Um, so we can go to maybe about here, and so you can do the exact opposite. You can um, create keyframes and move forward and then make them spread out again. But I kinda wanna keep the symmetry here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these keyframes right here. I'm gonna click Control C, Control V, and that's gonna copy and paste the keyframes to this new location. Then I'm gonna move about 10 frames forward. And then I'm going to copy and paste the back ones right here, Control C, Control V. And now I have an exact duplicate in the opposite order, as you can see right here. And it goes out a little bit faster than it started, you can see because of the distance. So we can just spread this out a little bit more. And now we can do the exact same thing with the opacity, but this is actually a little bit more simple because we just use zero and 100. So we can just drop a keyframe right here, go to the very end of it, and then drop uh, or move this down to zero. And now our effect is created. Just like that. And you know, you can adjust the speeds. Um, this is a completely, this effect was created by you, so you can adjust everything by it. So if we wanted to make it a really fast transition, we could do that, just like so. 
and then comes back out. And you see that it was actually kind of a neat thing happening is that because the wave height is at one, it's still moving it just ever so slightly. So you kind of actually get this like creepy flickering effect going on with it throughout the entire thing. And if you want to up that, you can actually like um, go to the, right here. Let's try to lock back into this frame. And instead of, or is it one, one, we can go like maybe one, uh, maybe one five. And then right here, do the same, uh, go one five for the height and you'll kind of get more of a sort of a jitter. And now that actually kind of that animation works with the, the, the feel of this piece. So you kind of get this like this creepy, uh, the text is coming in and then, you know, it's shaking because it's possessed or whatever. And then, it, you know, dissipates back out again. Really, really neat sort of thing that you can do with this like so. But that is the effect. Uh, use Wave Warp. It's really fun um, to make things disappear and disintegrate and stuff like that. You can also create cool waves like, you know, it's in the name. But that is the tutorial. So remember, just throw in your text, throw in Wave Warp, and then all you gotta do is animate the opacity and the Wave Warp, and you can get some neat effects from it. Thanks, everyone, for joining me for this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments or suggestions for future tutorials, those in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, I make Adobe videos every other day, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, see ya.